Hope you're doing good. Micah back with another video. Back here to talk about the iPhone 15 Pro and how it's been running iOS 17.4.1. I've been running it on my trusty iPhone 15 Pro here for some time. You guys know this is the daily driver. You guys also know I rock my S24 Plus as my secondary, but I do a lot of things <laughs> on both devices, but primarily on my iPhone, especially since it's connected to my iPad Pro. Of course, I do a lot of back and forth with copy and pasting. I do a lot of uh, image and video transfers between the two via AirDrop, th drop this, that, and the third, cast my TV and all that. So with all that being said, how has all of those functions been taking place on iOS 17.4.1? Have I noticed any new features? How's the battery life? How's the performance been? So if you guys are interested in that, if you guys haven't already, make sure to connect the like button, subscribe to the channel, the notification bell. It's all free. That way it's my video. So you and I can sit back and see what's cracking. Now let's get into the video. And the first thing we're going to address is features. And no, still have not discovered any new features with iOS 17.4.1. I think a lot of us have conceded to the fact that this update was really just bug fixes and some minor tweaks and improvements to previously dropped features with iOS 17.4. Case in point, maybe there might be an iOS 17.4.2, but don't count on it. We know iOS 17.5 beta just started this week, and so that was pretty good indication that we we probably won't be seeing a point two update. So no new features. However, staying in the feature land, how has those new features been? Well, if we come on over here to Apple Music, and we allow this to just refresh and we check out the heavy rotation mix has it expanded beyond uh 25 songs because that's what we're looking at i don't know why it's taking forever now so let's go ahead and hit that heavy rotation mix it's right here has it expanded 25 songs so far no so i don't know if that's just what they want to show you and it will change further or it's limited to 25, but that has not changed with this at all. If we consider Apple Podcasts and check these out, we know that the transcription feature is here. Make sure my volume is down. Check so along to Jim Ryan, head of PlayStation Studios. Hit uh, to Toki is now the interim CEO of PlayStation. And hopefully we see good things coming from them. But if we hit play... And then we hit the transcription button over here that they don't have available on this podcast. <laughs> so let's go ahead and actually change this out to Apple Insider. And upon hitting play, how about, there we go. So not all podcasts have transcripts. That's, that's something that I'm learning here. So upon jumping back over here, if we click on transcripts, we know all you got to do is swipe down and search will pop up there so that's good to see there that this is working fine but it is interesting to see upon swiping up or or swiping back down i should say so swiping up hides it swiping down brings it back your player it's good to see that that's working just fine so the features that they dropped with ios 17.4 have been working just fine and again i haven't had to change my passcode but if we enter settings and we come in here to privacy and security or face id and passcode you will see and notice that there has been a change here with stolen device protection allowing you to change it from away from familiar locations to always i don't change my passcode often so I, there, there hasn't really been a need for me to test this but i am confident that the bare bones will force it to have the hour delay so again just noting that there so in terms of features things seem to still be rolling smoothly just fine in terms of performance as you guys can see uh, this app also, which is MD Vinyl, I've talked about this app. I even have a short on it. If you guys want to check out the YouTube channel to, to find that, has been working even better since iOS 17.4 and 0.4.1. Hitting play here will actually update to the most recent song I actually have been listening to. So upon hitting play, it starts playing. And as you guys can see, it's got that nice animation interactive widget i can hit pause it will pause it and actually catch back up to the music that i am actually listening to it's actually interesting that uh i guess that song was over 
by hitting pause again. So as you guys can see, the, uh, the widgets have been working pretty well. My weather widget works well. I have water miner. I ain't paying for thirty dollars for that as of right now to unlock more features of it, which is kind of silly, but it is what it is. My battery widget's working just fine, as you guys can see. My AirPods are charged good. I should charge the case. My watch needs to charge by the end of the day, and I'm currently rocking fifty nine percent on the iPhone. The one app I'm noticing that has a little bit of uh, inconsistency is the widgy app as you guys see i'm using that right here and you can kind of see the hairline outline of the app even though it's supposed to be transparent and it's supposed to be sitting there as if i don't have a background on it you see it's ever so slight haziness on at the top right there if you kind of guys can kind of see that right there and at the bottom I, i'm nitpicking with it because i did want it to be completely flush with the background as it was before but sometimes it's the widget itself and it's not necessarily the software playing games but i'm noticing that they're being a little bit nitpicky here maybe if i reboot the phone maybe it'll change because i'm using the high quality blur uh transparent background to it's supposed to provide me with a flush background behind the widget but that's the only widget i'm seeing that's kind of giving me interesting inconsistencies post update but outside of that as you guys can see swiping through everything has been great if you want to go into the settings you don't see no jitter jutter at all we're rolling just fine there now battery life this is where it gets interesting for me battery life has been fine sometimes i forget that i don't charge this phone i only charge this phone like once every other day so if we come back in the settings battery life has been fine even post update the battery actually didn't drain as much as it usually does with the with this point one update and maybe because it was that minor it didn't adjust a lot of settings and background apps or system apps so for those reasons that's probably why my battery didn't drain like it normally would for a larger update but if we come in here we check my battery life you see that our last charge was Wednesday, 7.29 p.m. was the last time it charged to 100%. So that was yesterday. Today is Thursday, and it is currently 2.35 p.m. I don't know if that will show there or not, but 2.35 p.m. is the current time. And so you're almost, you're looking at 12 hours, it's gone by, so that'd be 7 in the morning, and then another 5, 7 hours. So you're looking at... <laughs> closing in on 24 hours and i have 50 what's that 58 percent so only because the screen being brightened because of my studio light right now is it draining a little bit faster because upon approaching this video i think i was somewhere around 59 to 60 percent prior to uh starting this video so the battery's only draining right now because of the screen is intensifying with this white background so it's got to push those pixels a little bit but battery life has been excellent on my iPhone 15 Pro. And I forgot, I think I, did I check it in terms of battery health? I did not, I'm still sitting at 100% since being out of the case. I've only charged it 166 times. First use was September, 2023. So since September, I'm still maintaining 100% maximum capacity. And that is because I use optimized charging. And again, I've switched to charging it once every other day because especially now that I work from home, I'm not on my phone as often because I have my TV, I have my PlayStation, I have a secondary device, I have my iPad. So some of that can take away from some of my using, of my use cases for this. And even when I was using this, I could still make it through an entire day before having to put it on the charger. So you're looking at waking up 6, 7 o'clock a.m., putting it on the charger around 11, 12 o'clock, 11 p.m., 12 o'clock later that day. So it can get through almost a full 24 hours anyway on one charge. But what really helped this was changing my always on display to just you know blacked out basically so if we come back into settings and we come in here to i believe it's in display and brightness if it's not forgive me always on display yes it's on but as you see i do not show my wallpaper and i do not show notifications i just show my always on display and my live activity so sports is the only thing that show up now. So it's black with the time and live activity, which is already black, just the color of the team icon, and then of course the sports updating. Those are the only things that show up when I'm always on display. I do miss using the wallpaper because I love that look, but that will drain the battery a little bit more. That may actually bring me down from a, you know, when am I approaching 24 hours here? So you're looking at 30 to 36 hours I can get on this phone. That brings that down to about 
24 to 30 maybe even 24 so am i willing to have that sacrifice by showing my wallpaper it is up to me but at least i have the option to change that and i do enjoy the battery life i have been getting and my battery life is still decent with it's still i don't even say decent it's still fantastic battery life for the smaller iphone 15 pro by showing the wallpaper with my always on display on my aod so it's a decision i, I waver on I, I go back and forth we'll see if i ever decide to change it back but in terms of battery life it has been absolutely phenomenal with this iphone 15 plus and i will continue to enjoy using it until the iphone 16 comes out but i'm probably going to keep this as a secondary device a secondary iphone device because i'll run beta updates on this while running clean fresh you know stable software on the iphone 16 series phone that i that i decide to get so be on the lookout for that down in, in the future but let me know down in the comment section below how's your iphone been have you updated the ios 17.4.1 and how's your experience been so far the comment section is open for discussion again as always if you guys haven't already make sure to like the like button subscribe to the channel the notification bell it's all free that way you start videos so you and i can sit back check see what's cracking it's your man mike is signing out until the next video wait for